Hello friends and family. Welcome to day 28, cycle two, day six of my quest to crush aggressive diffuse large B cell lymphoma. That was close. I think that was almost right. Let's get into status. Uh, eating was okay today. Um, very nauseous when I was at the clinic this morning for chemo, but pretty good the rest of the day. was very managed. Um, mouth pain is not really an issue this time. I, I feel a little bit raw, but not, not that, uh, a little raw. I'll just leave it at that. But the, the pain isn't horrible. Um, my weight is coming down a bit. It's still high, but it came down a little bit. This morning was my last dose of prednisone till the next till the next cycle, so I'm happy about that. Um, my fluid yesterday was 80 ounces, which is 2.3 liters plus another 420 by IV, so that put me at 2.78 liters total yesterday. Um, my sleep was five hours and 39 minutes. <laughs> that was rough. Um, the prednisone is really doing a number on my sleep, but like I said, I'm done with that, so fingers crossed. And I'm seriously considering some Benadryl tonight. <laughs> For a couple reasons that I'll talk about later. I did not take a nap, and I also drank Diet Coke on my way to the doctor's this morning, so that probably helped with the napping issue. Or didn't help, I don't know which way you want to go there. Um, I did the Diet Coke for two reasons, because I didn't get a lot of sleep, but the second reason, and I have not really had very much caffeine at all, so it did help. <laughs> and the other reason was because I knew that today I needed to be as high on my um, fluid volumes as possible, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so my mental health space, etc. cetera. Um, overall, I think still pretty positive. Uh, you know, still kind of riding the lab results from yesterday, yay. I'm thrilled to be done with the poisoning segment of this cycle. It's always a relief to not have to have that still flooding in. Now, I know it's not gone. I think we talked about it last cycle. The half-life is at least two or three, maybe even four days. So it's going to take a little while for all those lovely chemicals to exit and then for my body to start to heal and prepare for the next cycle. But they're no longer pouring the poison in, and I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> Yay. Um, chemo symptoms really all the same. Uh, the hair is falling out. Last night when I did not sleep, I did a lot of online looking. There is a possibility, and now I'm going to go back to earlier in the week where I said do not borrow trouble. So I'm not even sure I should say it, but there is a possibility based on some of these drugs that the, the hair won't come back. Um, hopefully that's not the issue here. And if it is, oh well. Hope, I'd like to rock bald, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, let's see. Um, my vitals here have been fine. They were a little high at the doctor's office. However, when I go to the doctor's office, I always walk up the steps and then I sign in. And then if they make me wait, then I pace and pace away from everyone in any chairs or whatever. There's usually not very many people there waiting. And then I wait for them to call me. So when I, then I go in and they take your temperature and then they do your vitals. And it's after I've just walked the steps and, um, you know, I've been pacing. And beyond that, I probably didn't take my blood pressure meds for like maybe half an hour, an hour before I got there. So all those things together, I'm not that all concerned. And the pressure was okay. It just wasn't great. I'm going to say like 130, 140 over 80 or 90. So it was the high end of, I guess it's not considered normal anymore. It used to be normal. But again, meh. you know, when I take it here, it's quite good. You know, like 112, 120 over 70. So I'm, I'm not really going to stress about that. Plus, I knew I was going in for chemo, so then you might have had some of that white coat stuff going on. Um, chemo brain, yes. Sorry that you guys are all along for that ride. Um, movement, 8,200 steps yesterday. Still didn't get the yoga thing going, but I'm working on that right now. So I don't know if that'll be tonight or tomorrow morning. I know I said that a couple of days already, but we're working on it. Um, all right, so that's what I have. As far as the high-level status, let's talk about doctor news, which I think kind of goes into status as well. Um, all right, so one kind of disappointing thing from the doctor's office today. All the conversations I had with them before, we talked about the PICC line was only in for the cycle. We'll pull it out. We'll get you a new one afterwards. 
that was not the case. When I asked about it today, they're like, well, why would you take it out? You should just keep it in. So I came home with the pick line, which made me kind of sad because I don't enjoy it. Um, I did make myself a new cuff. <laughs> the, old, the old cuff, I wasn't doing the job. I'm not sure I'm thrilled with this one, but it's better than the old one. So for now, it's, it's, and I think it's helping that the stuff doesn't flap around and, you know, maybe that'll help me with my yoga and everything else. So fingers crossed. Plus it was a massive difference to have just this, the pick line, even with the cuff, uh, and then have the pump and all the lines. Like it was always just pulling and dragging me down. Like there was really not, it wasn't, um, conducive to that kind of exercise. I'll just say that. Um, so they, they said it was my choice, but they really strongly wanted me to keep it in. So I did some quick research while I was sitting there, my friend Google, <laughs> and they said it was safe really to keep the pick line in for two to six weeks. Um, you know, obviously you're going to check for infection and all those types of things. Um, and there's some risk of infection just going back and forth to have it removed, you know, because now you have an open wound and then putting a new one in and there's some risk there. So, you know, I tried to weigh all those factors and my little bit of discomfort, you know, I think it would be probably okay to keep it in at least till the next cycle, which is the end of this month. And then we could revisit. And if we truly are targeting four cycles, which man, that would be awesome. Then this pick line would do everything and I wouldn't have to go back and forth for procedures. So that would be kind of awesome. Um, the one downside is that the the dressing, they didn't give me Tegaderm this time. It's some other, it's supposed to be hypoallergenic. I'm sure I'm going to have a rash. That's the other reason I want to take Benadryl because it's already started to itch a bit. Um, but it's Tegaderm-like, I'll say. And this uh, dressing has to be changed once a week by a nurse professional. It's not something I can do or have somebody else in my family do. So... Um, I asked them today how that would be organized. Do I come back to the office? Is there some nurse that's going to come here? What's the, what's the process? So if I keep it in, how are we going to deal with that? And the answer was, we're going to get back to you. And they haven't done that yet. So I'll probably call them tomorrow or the next day to follow. Oh, well, I'm going to be in the office tomorrow. So I'll ask. Okay. Um, new cuff I showed you, two to six. Going back tomorrow for labs, full labs, and um, the new Lasta shot, which I do not enjoy, but need. My white count was at the very low end of normal. It's about five and change. They do a finger stick when you get there for chemo to make sure that um, your CBC, the blood counts, are acceptable to take chemo. So uh, today the numbers were not great, and I took more chemo, so I'm sure they're going to go down. So I think... It's the right thing to do. I'm just not my favorite. Um, let's see, what else do I have? So let me tell you a little bit about what I got today. Today I got Aloxy, which is an anti-anemic, a stronger one that's supposed to last for a few days. I got that at the beginning on last Friday as well. Um, and the chemo, which is Cytoxin, um, this is the one that's very dangerous for the bladder and the kidneys. I mean, the other, every, all of them are, but this one is very dangerous. So the higher amount of fluid that I can take in and wash out and make sure nothing's sticking around in the kidneys or the bl bladder is the better. So that's what I've been, that's why I drank more soda today. And, you know, I've been drinking as much as I can tolerate, basically drinking, 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 having soup because soup has, you know, extra fluid, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, while I was there, the nausea was real while they were dripping that cytoxin in, like I could taste it. It, it just made me feel horrible, but my root beer barrel, sucked it up underneath my mask and thumbs up that really helped me get through it's pretty quick it dripped only in i don't know half an hour maybe so it wasn't um you know as far as four day infusion it wasn't like all oh, going 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 um let's see so that's it risk diet coke this morning i talked about that all right so one last thing somewhat doctor related my short-term disability request to my employer was redirected um, and they said the doctor didn't fill out this and that and the other thing, which I think some of it was just a wording choice by the administra administrative person that filled out the paperwork. So I, I responded, I sent it back, the rejection to the doctor's office, to the person that handles them and said, I think if we change these words here and here, that, that would meet their need. But I think the other part of the problem was that the treatment plan was faxed on the fax on the fax number that was on the bottom of the page and she sent me back the paperwork and I emailed a PDF to them so they got the data from two different sources and I don't think they combined them I think is what the problem is so I resent her my paperwork 
um, the paperwork she had sent me filled it out with my information and then a blank sheet with my information saying, I don't know which one's easiest for you to work with, but you know, we have to make these changes and try and get it resubmitted. So hopefully that's going to get worked in the next day or two. The, the goal here, and I think I talked about this already was, you know, when I'm being treated and when, if there's like a day, and I think I've already told you my focus is on healing and beating cancer. So if there's day or days or half days where I just don't have the brain power or the muscle power or the wherewithal to focus on work, but I need to be focusing on me, then those are the days I want to be able to say, okay, I'm sick today and short term covers that. So we just have to get that all covered. Yeah. All right. What else can I tell you about? All right. So let's get into accomplishments. Read 21 for 21. Um, I'm up to about seven and a half hats for the donation. I did the cuff, so I was more focused on me a little bit. Did not go to work today. I had scheduled out and then I probably could have gone in the afternoon, but I was just beat from not sleeping and then just the, it takes it out of you. So I just decided not to go. Um, I did log in to handle the short term disability stuff, but I didn't like work work. Um, I had a, a brief robo meeting, maintaining the kitchen. Oh, I did something awesome today for my last day of chemo. I made my family dinner. Can you believe that? And it was something pretty good. We made, I made, um, Orange chick, orange sesame chicken with cauliflower rice and steamed vegetables. So that that was I thought I'm pretty proud of myself, <laughs> especially considering today was my last day of chemo. Um, uh, did not make any progress on the one treat first treatment compilation. I was working on my you know on my cuff mostly and kind of just low key. I got to get into that. Maybe maybe that's something I can do later. Um, let's see if I have anything else. Total, da, da, da. Well, I think that is all I have to tell you guys about today. So, again, I got lots of great messages, encouraging, non, I'm not a medical professional, but I agree with you, numbers getting into normal looks like normal, fingers crossed, right? Um, so we'll see. Like I said, um, I do have a telehealth with my doctor next week and I'll bring those, that conversation up and see what his feedback is there. Um, but thank you again, as always for your love and support and your, your, um, the way you lift me up and give me power to, to fight this battle. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you for joining me on this journey. We love you. Remember, every day is a gift. Live it.